Now we've got our filter. Okay. Uh, we actually have two units here for producing echo and reverb. I'm going to let you look at my notes on echo because the reverb is maybe a little uh, easier to deal with. So take this blue, again, connect, disconnect from the output. And all we're doing, if you, if you think about this as your uh, device shelf in, in uh, live, all we're doing is we're dropping in another device every time we unplug from the outs and plug it in somewhere else. Okay, we're just dropping in another device in the signal chain. Okay, so take that. There should be something marked input. Yep, there it is. No, no, on, on the reverb. Let's go with the verbtronic. Since I'm short on time, I'm jumping right to the reverb. Okay, um, so I've got the input now. I need the output. Yes. Okay. And the reverb has two different outputs, one that says verb out, which is going to give you just the reverberated sound, and then the mix out, which is going to give you a mix of dry and wet. Okay, so let's go with mix out and connect that to our outs. This is going to go to our speakers. Okay, now we have our lovely reverb, which we can turn up the feedback. Uh, so now if you start playing with these, so I outlined these frequency knobs. I don't know, choose one and start to modulate it. Hear what it does. Yeah, hear that reverb? We've just we've added reverb to the sound. Now, if you start modulating those frequencies, this will make you wish you had like three or four hands, basically, because you're like there's lots of knobs to change. Yeah, those sweeps sound beautiful going through the, the reverb. Okay, you get those effects basically. Okay. Um, I don't have time to jump over to the echo unit, so I'm going to have to leave that as an exercise for you to uh, play around with on your own. Thank you, Brandon. Let's give him a round of applause. Okay. So, and then just, I'll, get, I'll make sure I get one last shot of everything here before I turn off the camera. Okay. Um, the